Hey guys, welcome to Lighthouse Tarot, where we embrace the light within ourselves and within others. I'm your host, of course, Rachel Riley, coming back at you with a new video today. If you're new to my channel, first off, welcome. Come join the family if you want. If you like it here, come chill or not. Anyway, back to my old subscribers. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments, like, and sharing my video. That really supports and helps my YouTube channel get more get more out there <laughs> get out there more and I see every comment that you guys make I like to heart every single one and I'll get to reply when I can but I do see every single comment that you put on my channel so thank you in advance for that well let's get straight into it today I'm talking about Jupiter in your first house what is Jupiter in the first house what does that mean what does it mean when you have this placement and how can we use Jupiter in our first house to our highest advantage. So Jupiter in the first house, this is naturally ruled by Aries. So I'll be referring to this as Aries energy. And I'll also be referring to the Jupiter energy as Sagittarius, just because Jupiter rules Sagittarius. So when I think of Jupiter, I think of a Sagittarius, right? All the energy they hold, but I am referring to Jupiter in the first house. Get that out of the way. Without further ado, let's go. So first, what's Jupiter? Jupiter is expansion. Jupiter rules good fortune, your luck, higher learning, philosophy, you know, seeing things from a higher perspective. And Jupiter also rules abundance. And Jupiter's purpose is it's a benevolent planet. So Jupiter wants to expand. It wants to reach as many people as possible. It wants for everybody to be in a great mood. It rules positivity and abundance. I actually think of Jupiter as, you know, tarot, the first card we have in tarot, the fool. I think of Jupiter as the full energy. You know, there's a man on the tarot. He is wearing his little outfit. He has his rub stack on the back and he has a little dog with him and he's about to go over a cliff, but he doesn't know because he's about to go on a new beginning, on a new start, on a new journey. So Jupiter for me represents that energy, that energy, right? That optimism you have before a road trip, before a move, before a new relationship, like right in the beginning when you're like, oh my gosh, anything could happen. And it's almost like unrealistic optimism. Not exactly though, because if you focus on optimism and positivity enough, you'll bring it into your life, that's for sure. But for me, Jupiter rules the fool. That's what I think of when I think of Jupiter, the fool card in tarot in the best possible way. So what is the first house though? What does the first house represent? The first house represents your personality, your identity, and your physical appearance. So what happens when we put Jupiter and the first house together is you're gonna come across a person that has a larger than life personality because Jupiter rules expansion. Because it rules your personal experience in the first house, this person could actually be a lot taller. If you're a girl, maybe taller than most girls. If you're a guy, maybe a basketball player, right? And it, not to say that they all have to be tall, but it could be that you just have lengthier, like longer limbs, longer arms, longer legs. You know, you might have to have your shirts fit a certain way because they come up to here on the wrist and you're like, what the heck? Or your, or your legs, they come up halfway to your ankle. You're like, man. But with Jupiter in the first house, dude, you guys are going to have a larger than life personality. This represents somebody that has a spectacular smile. You may be complimented on your smile a lot. A uh, gregacious laugh, like a really large laugh. Somebody that's just like, bam, they're here, they're excited. I personally have this placement. So I have Jupiter in my first house, but I also have Pluto in my first house. So it's really polarizing, right? So most of my life I had to understand um, how to balance out my Scorpio energy, that strong Pluto, that mystery, that subconscious, that dark aura, that like bam presence, along with my Jupiter first house, that Aries energy, that optimism, that happiness, right? And so when you walk in a room with Jupiter in the first house, you're gonna notice when these people are here. They're just in here. They're just, they're, they're bright. It's impossible to miss them. And I strongly recommend for you, if you have Jupiter in your first house, to embrace that energy, dude. If all eyes are on you, when you walk in a room, just embrace it. Just walk in. I want you to walk in a room, just be like, hey, Stacy, how's it going? Karen, how are the kids? Oh, what's up, John? How you doing? And then just do it and it'll build momentum. And I promise Jupiter in the first house makes you extremely likable. In fact, let's look at some celebrities that have Jupiter in their first house, right? 
So, one of my favorite rappers, Eminem, has Jupiter in his first house. Rihanna, queen, queen, queen. And I, I want for you guys to, when I'm listing these celebrities, think about one thing that all these celebrities have in common. Abraham Lincoln, hey, Emancipation Block Proclamation, uh, Kristen Stewart, ooh, oh, wow, had a crush on her for a minute. <laughs> Whitney Houston also has Jupiter in her first house, Ashton Kutcher, Shiloh Buff, William Shakespeare, Jimmy Fallon, and let's see who else we have. Oh, Bill Clinton. I will throw him in there. It's fine, whatever. <laughs> but out of all these celebrities, you'll notice most of these have a really sunny disposition. Somebody that's well, like somebody that's like really happy and they, they might have smile lines like Rihanna. She's always happy. Eminem, you know, he's got, he's got, he's got his little attitude going on, but like people still like him. He's very playful. You'll notice he's very playful. He's always playing jokes in his, uh, his songs, especially like the Slim Shady type of songs. And Jimmy Fallon, extremely well liked, always laughing, a spectacular host, but he knows how to like bring out the positivity, how to make his, his, um, his audience, um, uh, what's the word not co-host but uh the people that come on the show extremely comfortable and happy and he cracks a joke all the time like it's just like a funny show right and um whitney houston beautiful smile spectacular larger than life i want to dance with somebody i believe there's a song by her correct me if i'm wrong but she's just like whoa like let's party yeah so that's what that's the type of person you are with jupiter in your first house you're very very well liked and jupiter another cool thing i've noticed like from learning from jupiter is Hold on one second. With Jupiter in your first house, Jupiter wants to give you more of what makes you happy. And not to say that your life is going to be all smooth sailing, you're going to have an extremely lucky life, you're never going to come across challenges, no. But if you have Jupiter in your first house, Jupiter wants to give you things that make you happy. If books make you happy, Jupiter's going to give you a lot of books. If adventures make you happy, Jupiter's gonna give you a lot of adventures. If travel makes you happy, Jupiter's gonna give you a lot of travel. If money makes you happy, Jup Jupiter's gonna give you a lot of money. And do you know why? Because when you're happy, when you're really in your true element of first house in Jupiter, your larger than life personality, you're gonna be so happy and in your lucky energy that you want to inspire others. You wanna motivate others. You wanna tell people all about the law of attraction. You don't care if they even necessarily believe it or not, but your energy behind it is gonna be so strong that you're gonna inspire a lot of people. So Jupiter, knowing that it wants expansion, Jupiter wants to reach the collective as a whole, is gonna give you things that make you happy, especially when you're down, so you can get your energy up to inspire a lot of people around you. Jupiter and first house people, they inspire so many people. I believe Oprah Winfrey has this placement as well. And just look at her, she's like, you get a give, you get a give, you get a give, right? <laughs> so, okay, another thing for Jupiter and first house, like your personality, these people are extremely animated. When they're telling a story, they use a lot of hand gestures, they're jumping, they're laughing, they're playing it out, their eyes are just like, oh my gosh, like this person almost ran me over, oh my God, and then I was like running away from like the baby mama, and then the cousin came out, and then the cops came, and blah, blah, blah. And <laughs> if you're walking by somebody with Jupiter in the first house, and you don't even know them, they're a complete stranger, but they're just like, oh my God, they're, you're gonna be like, wow, what, what are they, t what is that story? And I noticed this especially when I've worked at some places certain of my coworkers would come like eavesdrop not necessarily but they would just be like hey what are you talking about <laughs> and it could just be as simple as me telling my breakfast story on how like my my shirt got caught on the drawer and I dropped the avocado on the toast and then the dog ate it and I was crying but I animated it you know with Jupiter in the first house you're very animated you're very hands-on you know larger than life personality so you're gonna just be like Whoa. and Jupiter in first house we love to make people laugh I've found the best way to use this placement is to use your humor to use your humor through positive situations through day-to-day -day situations and also through challenging situations you know just to like laugh at yourself laugh at others if something bad happens just make a dark humor joke not all the time but just make a silly joke like Jupiter and first house they're very silly like their sense of humor is uh, it can be like puns it can just be like kind of like child childish and child nature not in like an immature way but just funny because Jupiter does also rule children Jupiter is 
the the father of astrology not the father like saturn like stern but the father like the good father like he wants to teach teach us justice he wants to use our own minds our philosophy and i'm gonna get more to that later but it also rules children they say in roman mythology jupiter is the good father as well as he was married to Juno. So Jupiter rules children and his wife Juno actually ruled childbirth, right? And that's so freaking cool. And I also wanna say, Jupiter in the first house, you guys make really excellent motivational speakers. I can attest to this because when I was a little baby, when I was a little 19 year old Rachel, Excuse me, I went to Southwest and I was very shy at the moment, believe it or not. I was going through a lot of trauma. I just came out of some teenage trauma uh, as well as relationship trauma. And I was like, ah, nobody talked to me. So I would just go sit in the back of the little college room. I'd just sit in the back, like nobody listened to me. If the professor wasn't there, I put in my headphones. I like read in my book till they got there. And I took speech class, introduction to speech. And in speech class, you're required to make a speech. And did you know that most people would rather die then get in front of people and have public speaking to become a public speaker because <laughs> the biggest fear, the number one fear is public speaking and second to death. And then I think it's drowning, it's, it's insane. So yeah, in, in that class, I was super shy, super scared, but uh, during my speech, I did my speech on high interval intensity training. I got up to the podium really scared, really stressed, but I rehearsed and I memorized the entire speech. I performed in front of my parents before. So I got there and I started getting stressed holding the podium like, okay, high interval training. And then something just took over me, man. I don't even know. Like I'm not even, I was an extrovert at that time, but I was just like, you know what? This is, this is why you need to have hit training because you can burn a whole bunch of calories in five minutes, 10 minutes. And if you're bored of going to the gym, this is really amazing as well as doing it with that you know what I'm gonna show you an example so literally in front of my college class little 19 year old Rachel I <laughs> I dropped down and did 10 push-ups jumped up did two bur burpees ran to the back of the classroom ran back to show my high and, and that like shook everybody up because like in the beginning they're like uh people can tell by your energy like if you're confident or not they're like oh she ain't confident and then I just got wrapped up in it and everyone just kind of woke up like whoa and I actually had some people come up after me and ask me questions about this type of workout. And I received an A plus on my first ever speech as somebody who was very shy and introverted at the time. So that just goes to show no matter what your personality is, you are an incredible motivational speaker. You're an inspiration if you have Jupiter in the first house and the best possible way to use this energy for yourself to bring good luck, to bring good fortune, to have your life moving smoothly is to inspire others, is to make yourself happy. I spend my mornings listening to motivational speeches and then I'm really passionate about the law of attraction astrology. So when I get around people, I'm constantly like, yeah, you can change your life. Did you know the law of attraction is available to us and you could change your life through your th thoughts, through your things and that good luck can come to you if you keep positive and optimistic and it's scientifically true. And when I do that, I feel even heart exchange, right? Jupiter in the first house. And you're gonna inspire other people. And then that good karma is gonna to come to you. And the momentum is going to build with Jupiter in the first house. The more you help others, the more they're gonna give you good fortune. And Jupiter really likes that. So I would encourage you, no matter what your placements are, no matter if you have a Scorpio rising, no matter if you have Pluto in your first house, no matter if you have Capricorn, any of these heavy placements, if you have Jupiter in your first house, you're golden, dude. As long as you don't listen to people that are negative, as long as you don't let any, anyone dampen your dreams, and you kind of go into a situation like, uh, maybe this hasn't done before, but that's because I didn't do it, right? Like, I know I can succeed because it's me. I know what I bring to the table. Jupiter in the first house, we get over things really quickly. And I found that especially true because uh, I would maybe like uh, lose some money, right? Or I would like have a breakup. And it's true, I would feel these emotions, but I would just be kind of like, all right, well, I'm still gonna go to the park and there's no sense in, you know, feeling sad about this and ruining my mood, ruining my day. Because Jupiter in the first house, we really wanna be happy, have fun, adventure, you know, learn about philosophy, make people laugh. In order to do that, we have to make ourselves happy. So when I would lose some money or maybe I would get fired or I have a breakup, something intense would happen, 
I'd feel it. <laughs> I'd feel it with that Scorpio rise and Pluto in the first house. I'd be like, oh, it's the end of the world. No. Ah. But my Jupiter first house is like, can you really do anything about this? No, but you can control making yourself happy. You can get your skateboard out and go skateboard and listen to some rad ass fucking music. Like you can do that. And I find that Jupiter in the first house, we're really good at like quickly getting over things. And that helps our life go along quickly and like more, bring more goodness to us. So let's see uh, what else I have down here at my notes. Let's see, cause Gemini is in Mercury right now. So I have been kind of like, boop, boop, boop. I have a Virgo placement. So I'm ruled by Mercury as well as Aquarius Mercury. But yeah, so with Jupiter, I think we pretty much covered a lot of things. I'm trying to see what else. You guys have the power to inspire many people. You guys have really big dreams and a lot of people might not understand you with Jupiter in the first house because your dreams are so big because Jupiter wants you to expand. It wants you to expand your horizons. I also found Jupiter in first house. You guys make really good small talkers if you're in a good mood, if you're in a good mood, because depending on your chart. So be in a good mood. And I recently, you know, when I didn't have a vehicle, I would get in a lift and I would just make small talk and I would make it a game. I was like, how much can I know about this person within 10 minutes? Like how much can I inspire them? And I was very curious and I'd ask some questions about their life because Jupiter in the first house, we really respect our elders, but not just anyone old person that's like 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 years older than us. We respect people that offer knowledge in something we're interested or knowledge in general that is valuable. We put so much value in knowledge, more so than hanging out with somebody who is rich, hanging out with someone who's a celebrity, hanging out with someone we look up to. If there is somebody that knows the key to astrology, knows the hidden keys, and maybe I'm trying to find out my, uh, my Saturn return and they can tell me everything about it, I find that so valuable and important because I realize, wow, if they can tell me about the keys of astrology, I can change myself. When I change myself, when I become more self-aware, I change my life. When I change my life, I can change others. I can impact others. And it's like a big, beautiful, wonderful circle. So Jupiter in first house, we really admire certain elders that bring us knowledge. We value knowledge. And actually, if you're a woman with Jupiter in your first house, they say your husband or, you know, whatever gender that you're into, the masculine, it is actually somebody who has higher learning knowledge somebody that you are going to marry or that's going to be your partner that will help you learn that will teach you from subjects that you're interested in and that will expand your mind you really desire that jupiter in the first house you desire to to always learn and i noticed that too in my own life like not to like put out my personal business but uh you know there's been certain partners i really liked but there's always something missing. And I really found the people that I've met that I've had the, the crazy sparks flying have been the ones that have stimulated my mind, that have brought new knowledge I didn't know, or maybe current knowledge I did know, and they put a different spin on it, a different perspective. And that really woke me up inside. I was like, wow, I could get used to this. Oh my gosh, attracted. <laughs> so Jupiter in the first house, your husband or your masculine person is gonna be somebody that is a teacher, somebody that is respected. Oh, Jupiter in your first house, you're also well respected in your community, in your environment as somebody who's very wise. I can attest to this when I was working at a private Catholic school as a teacher. I would just come in when I decided to take myself less seriously and just like play around, have fun, but also teach people about the law of attractions, about subliminals, about astrology, and all this knowledge, right? And a lot of people came up to me, asked questions and asked how to like impact their life, how to change their life. And they'll respect you regardless of if you have a college degree, high school degree, if you're married, single, young, old, people respect people with Jupiter in the first house knowledge. So you guys can go for your dreams Jupiter will bless you as long as you stay positive, as long as you stay optimistic, as long as you inspire others. Use humor to navigate through life. Embrace your larger than life personality. People are gonna look at you when you walk in a room anyway, so embrace it. Say, hey, Stacy. hey, Karen. I also recommend, you know, certain careers for Jupiter in the first house I think are really good are like a co-host, like Oprah Winfrey or Jimmy Fallon. Actor, actress, 
because because you guys are larger than life you have the larger than life personality and you're very animated and you love to make people laugh and you're very expansive you're very expressive and uh maybe make up a few little white lies and make the story even better so that's good for acting you can channel that into acting you'll get far man <laughs> and uh also like a comedian you could be a comedian jupiter in first house you could also be a motivational speaker yes Yes, the best motivational speaker, a life coach. You could be a podcaster. You could be anything, dude. You could have your own business. You could, you know, change the world and people will follow you. People that are very collective and the masses will follow you because they say when you're selling a product, people aren't buying the product. They're buying the energy behind a product. People aren't buying Mustangs because they want a Mustang. They're buying Mustangs because they're like, wow, this guy has a Mustang. He's picking up girls. I want to pick up girls. Wow, this girl uh, is wearing a pink top and she's so confident. I don't want the pink top. I want the confidence, right? So people are playing into your energy. So it's not even what you say. It's how you say. If you believe in yourself and you believe the law of attraction and positivity and astrology can fucking change your life and bring you to higher places and you can have your fucking dream, People are gonna buy into that energy too because they'll feel that oh, that you believe it and they know that you believe it and they're gonna wanna follow you and see what happens, right? So yeah, we've had like 21 minutes. I don't wanna go too far into this, but if you wanna see a part two about Jupiter in the first house, let me know. I'm also gonna do Sagittarius in the second house because I have that placement. I think it's really dope. I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, night. I love you. Goodbye.